Hi, welcome to all my valued subscribers. So it's a very important lecture on writing today task 2. So without any wasting time and without any narrating you anything else. So I give you today an idea about task 2. So I've got a lot of comments, so ideas, kaise generate kare, how to create ideas. So I give you some ideas. I'm not going to tell you about the whole answer of it today. I'll give you an idea about advantages and disadvantages of credit card. So thereafter, listen the whole, thereafter, finally, I'll give you one question. You write the answer of that question, definitely, I'll respond to every query. If you are writing your essay, I'll check your essay and tell your mistakes. But keep in mind the whole lecture is must to understand. Agar pura lecture, if you understand the whole lecture, I mean it that you attain or you get ample ideas on the topic. So topic as I said, advantages and disadvantages on credit card. But the question is later on. As every question in IELTS based on what? Based on advantages and disadvantages. So let's we talk about it. A lot of you know benefits about credit card first. You see about it's the first one is credit card advantages. If you see about first one is cashback facility. Yes. So when you buy something online or when you use credit card some places, there are cashback facilities. Like in Paytm, if you use Paytm, you will get a cashback facilities to transact. So you can elaborate your line on the basis of cashback facilities. So let's move to the second one. Another important advantage is what? Earn rewards when shopping online. Yes, when you shop online, when you shop, of course, your rewards are calculated. 100, 200, 1000 rewards thereafter gifts are given to you like HDFC bank provides rewards when you do transactions you earn rewards by every type of shopping on every site so it means HDFC provides facility of work earn rewards this is again saving money so let's we move to the third point what is the third point see third point is covers salient features like salient means important features like complimentary travel insurance purchase protection insurance now what does it mean purchase protection insurance means this is the facility which is provided by most of the credit card owners what is that purchase protection insurance it means when you have purchased something it is insured also like for example if we have bought mobile of rupees 40,000 or 50,000 rupees it is covered under insurance so this is facility provided to the credit card owners so means credit card is again useful of course or covers security and fraud fraud protection it means that if you are using this credit card it helps you to protect it from the frauds as well you might have seen as an example if I talk about it when you buy something online when you give payments it is written there itself verified by a visa this is an example you can state in the answer also verified by a visa technology in them it means helps instant this these sites what they have they instantly monitors your account for suspicious purchases that's why in this line it is written here itself last one is for example it's written here visa credits have the verified visa technology in them which instantly monitors your account for the suspicious purchases so this line you can enter or elaborate in your as an example in your essay Chali, let's we talk about the fifth one what is the fifth one fifth one is convenient and safe for online shopping on trusted websites now what does it mean trusted website like if I talk about Amazon Flipkart Upar dekhe, jab aap shopping karte hai, HTTPS hota hai it means secure. So if there is S, it means you can shop there itself. It is a secure website. So you can conveniently and safe do the shopping there itself. That means, right? So this is how you can elaborate this line in your own language. 
Now, what is the sixth one? If I talk about the sixth one, this is like a digital wallet technology. It means it's digital wallet technology. It is your wallet which is digital. It means you need not to carry cash. Round the clock availability is there. Means you can shop round the clock. This is your wallet and this is your digital wallet. Last but not the least one is this is called universal accepted. Yes, universal accepted means if you are roaming across the world, you are in any other country also, the credit card is accepted there. So these are the seven points. It does not mean that you are supposed to write all the seven points. I just have uh, increased your ideas, ke different aspects of credit card. Ke. So aap is jo lage aapko. if you feel that three, four are important, write three or four important. But advise you always write in elaboration. Se, elaborate ke jiye, finally elaborate it. That helps you to gain more marks in your writing. Right, so when you are explaining topic, do not add lines by using fanboys, for, and, nor, but, or, do not connect your line by these connectors when you are explaining. Listen what I am saying when you are explaining. Now let's we talk about the demerits of it. What are the demerits of it? Right, let me talk about the demerits. First one is, see the first one, encourage to buy more means when you go for online shopping or in a mall you know that you don't have a cash but you know that you have a credit card so mostly it helps it encourages you to buy this this that so usually if you are buying one thing you choose two things add on means you know because your mind is what said let's purchase this one also let's purchase this one also you know that money is not to be given right now. Money is to the credit card. We shall give you later on. So it encourages you to buy the more. This is the major disadvantage. It helps you to spend extravagantly. It basically encourages you, not helps you. It encourages you to spend extravagantly. Spend lavishly. It means you are what doing? You are spending lavishly. This is the first disadvantage. So what is the second? So let me talk about the second one, pay off high rates of interest. Pay off high rates of interest means if money is carried on. Means credit card gives you a facility of 30 days, 50 days. After 50 days, definitely they charge the rate of interest. The rate of interest is more. So when, if you forget to pay before the deadline, you'll have to pay high amount of interest. So that is again the disadvantage. Cost to is 1000 and you are paying rate of interest, it could be 1050 also. So this is what is the major disadvantage of, of credit card as well. Now what is the third one? Third one is have to pay annual maintenance charges. Agar kisi ke paas, if you do have credit card or debit card, definitely you know that bank does not give you free facility. So they charge, you know, something from you annually if you are using credit card. That's called maintenance charge. And unnecessary, you have to pay 200, 250, 300 rupees like this annually. So it means that this is somehow demerit again for the credit card users. Now, what is the next one? Fourth one, if I got to talk about it, scammers. Fourth one is scammers could use skimming devices. What an important point I but the answer is Suniga. Scammers could use skimming devices, phishing techniques and other tricks to steal your credit card information and your hard-earned money. Means what? Phishing techniques means what? Sometimes, you know, you sometimes you get email also that you have got reward. Emails are there. phone bhi aata You sometimes receive phone calls. What they say that share your hard card number, share your PIN number. Right, so what is that? This is called phishing technique. Nobody is supposed to ask anything from you related to your credit card or debit card. So these are the phishing techniques, right? So these kind of phishing techniques are used by the hackers, right? So they hack your, they hack your credit card numbers or debit card numbers. So this is what is the major demerit of using the credit cards. Scammers means jo scam kutala karne wale hota. That's called scammers. Last but not the least. Last one is what? 
high charges apply on international transactions means if you are out of the country or if you are sending money to america or canada by credit card high charges apply means you have to pay more money for the transactions transaction means for disbursement of your money aapne paise ko bhejna hai ya fir aapne paise ko mangwana hai high charges are um, are charged for it so these are the disadvantages of credit card hope you have understood this is called an idea aapne mujhe acche se sun liya is ideas ko credit card aur debit card ke upar koi bhi question aa jaye any kind of question if you get an examination definitely you are able to understand you are able to write there also what i what i advise you finally do not cram the lines do not cram the lines yes adopt the vocabulary that's a scammers hai phishing techniques hai no adopt such kind of words universally hai so this helps you to gain more marks but line should be your own right well this is what is the advantage and disadvantage that i have spoken so far now it's the time to what to solve the question what is that see on the screen people are moving towards the cashless society cashless society of course isme cash nahi hai do you think advantages of credit card outweigh its disadvantages do you think advantages of credit card outweigh its disadvantages right introduction right description bp1 bp2 and conclusion introduction if you are new subscriber and you don't know what is the way of writing introduction please aap playlist mein jaye usme ja kar aap dekhe how to write introduction i have made it clear how to write the introduction for such questions also and write the whole answer if you are sitting at home enjoy free classes please and i am here to help you and stand by you write the answer of it and start solving i'm waiting for your answers bye bye take care with the new question with the new chapter by me take care